Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Today is Friday, June 12th. And today is just gonna be a regular day in the life video. I actually just woke up, um, brushed my teeth and washed my face and threw on some clothes. So I have to start work at 7.30. So I'm actually about to go get my son together so my husband can then take him to daycare. So right now I'm just putting my hair up on my face. So we can get our day started. Let's go wake up this little guy. Let's go wake up my little prince. Are you guys doing it's been a while since i've done a day in the life so i thought why not today after work um i'm getting my nails done and then i made a few i had four jars of candle jars left last night and so i thought i would just go ahead and restock on one of my best sellers um, which is my sea salt and orchid one. Uh, so I just made four candles last night and some wax melts. Um, uh, I restocked on one of my scents. So now I'm fully restocked on all my wax melts. And then I started, I made my new scent that I'm releasing next week. I made that on Wednesday. And then I made my summer scent that I'll be releasing soon as well came in like yesterday. So I made some wax melts in that as well. So yesterday I was just playing around. Actually, let me show you. Before we go wake up my, my son. And I just put labels on everything. So, yep. So I did those last night just because I had four jars left and the rest of, um, excuse me, the rest of my jars would be here on Tuesday, I believe. So then I'm gonna crank out some more candles so I can restock everything. And um, yeah, cause everybody's like, Girl, when you restocking on your candles, I'm like, I know. But if you have a small candle business or you've been trying to order supplies for candles, you know there's been like a slight delay with everything because we're all, we've are all we all been quarantined and we're all just making stuff at home. So I would assume that's why, you know, candle suppliers are running out of things more frequently than they would normally. So, but yeah, let's get our day started. I'm about to come upstairs and wake up our son. Why you got your little eye drops? You don't need those.
Say hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hey Ryan. Hey Ryan. Thank you so much for your help. Okay, he said thank you everybody for your help. He said welcome back to my channel. All right. All right. We just brushed your teeth, so. PJ, we just came up, uh, came downstairs, you guys. Look, there's a bunny rabbit, and he saw it. He was like, "Mommy, bunny rabbit?" I'm like, "Yeah, you see the bunny rabbit, boo boo? He's eating. You see it? What is it? <laughs> he's like fascinated." Ooh, he's look like he's eating our 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 grass, our leaves. I can see bunny. Yep, you can see the bunny. Now he's go bye bye. Looks like looks like he got a little plant in his mouth that he's about to go bye bye. Go throw your diaper in the trash. Thank you. Throw your diaper in the trash. You don't put your medicine on your diaper. No, 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 no. Go put it in trash. Put it in trash. Put it in the trash, PJ. Thank you. Go wake up, Daddy. Daddy, wake up. Daddy. Daddy. No. <laughs> He's putting on some cartoons for PJ. Until Ooh, turn this down. Until my husband is ready to take him to daycare. So in the meantime, before I start work, I'm gonna go ahead and get these wicks cut on the candles I made last night and put these wax melts up um, before I get my day started. So, so these can be off the counter and out the way and then I can write them on the counter.
This is my new summer scent that I'm coming out with, which I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, but it smells so bomb. I decided to release like a seasonal collection. So I was like, well, why not, right? So as I'm building my main empowering collection, I'm also gonna be releasing maybe a scent or two each season. I think there's a second scent that, I'm, that I wanna get for the summer, but I'm still trying to know. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, bye. That was my mom. So I just clocked in to work and just waiting on my husband to finish getting dressed so he could take uh, my son to daycare. Where's your wipe your nose? Mommy, you see that over there on the chair? Go get your cloth. Hey everyone, I am checking back in. It first break from work um so what I'm about to do now is get my little photography station set up with my white poster board and things like that because I'm releasing a new scent next week and my new summer collection uh, where I'm featuring a summer scent as well so I need to get those pictures taking and taken and up on my website Right now, I just have the wax melts of my new fragrance and my summer scent. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of those, put those on my website. So, that way, when I make all my candles next week, when my jars come in, I will be ready to go to just take those pictures. So, just trying to do a little bit of work at a time until everything come in. So, that's what I'm about to do right now while I'm on my lunch break. I'm at my first work break and then... Um, probably around lunch or later this afternoon I'll go ahead and take the pictures and do all my editing and stuff probably tonight after I get my nails done so I'll check back in with you all in a little bit such a lovely day um i went out walking earlier but i forgot my phone in the house i didn't even get to record that i think the last clip you saw was me um setting up my photography to take pictures of my wax melts that i had made so i did that um during my break i i talked to you on my first break i did that and then on lunch, y'all, I ain't do nothing. <laughs> um, I fixed something at the house and just laid around for my little hour, straightened up the kitchen a little bit. So you all didn't miss too much. Now, I just got off work, so it's about 4.42. I'm on my way to pick up my son and then uh, drop him off at my, my mom's house. Um, so my mom and my sister can watch them while I'm getting my nails done, um, which my appointment is at 6.30. But before that, I have a couple errands I need to run. So I'm taking you all along with me for that because my husband have a few appointments. So I just said, hey, well, our son can just go chill with grandma and TT so he can have the house quiet for his appointments, his Zoom appointments and things like that. So getting strapped in here. How was y'all's day? I had a good day. Like I said, um, it was Friday, so I can't complain. So I'm just about to take you all along with me. We out of here.
y'all. My sister makes fun of me all the time. She was, she swears I don't know how to back out of my garage and I do struggle a little bit. My husband have, has a motorcycle. So he has his motorcycle and then it's me and his car in the garage. And our garage is big enough, but you know how sometimes your mirrors just make you feel like you're closer to stuff that you really are. <laughs> I'd be struggling to get out of our garage. I'm sitting at a red light. I was um, looking looking um, at my lashes. Honey, this eye right here is on struggle. Y'all see that? I cannot wait to get my lashes done. I made my appointment for June 19th, which is next Friday. I can't wait. This eye is still holding on, but this one right here, child, I have to probably put mascara on to match it. <laughs> But um, it's actually, but it's been about two months and she did a really great job. I was very, very impressed with her. Super professional. Um, I love her. She's a sweetheart and she did a bomb job on my lashes and they lasted. It's been, I think it's been two months actually. So I'm not complaining for two months. They're pretty good. And so I cannot wait till next Friday to get a refill. Getting my nails done tonight, which I can't wait for. Um, so I got my toes done a few weeks ago, which was refreshing to get done. Um, definitely masked up. And they actually, the salon, my mom, my sister, and myself, my mom's best friend, we normally, all four of us go together. They uh, was taking appointments only so they can control how many people are in the salon. So, and actually that was like our first time outside of my lashes, which was just one person and it was done at her home. Um, that was the first time we have really been anywhere, like honestly. Um, but luckily a lot of the services that I get done on myself, um, it's usually with like one individual, you know, I, I do my best to try to support, you know, a small business owners out here or, you know, women that offer services at their home and thing like, things like that. Um, so I don't really venture out too much anyway, to be quite honest. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> also, you in a good mood now because you got your Cheez-Its and juice? Y'all, this boy loves Cheez-Its, right? So, every time he gets in the car, I started to notice that's what he's been asking for. And so literally before myself or my husband leave the house <laughs> we go get him cheese it we make sure we bring him a little snack thing of cheese it and his juice or water boy loves cheese it hey you guys checking back in with you all i just got out of my uh nail appointment i think the last clip you saw was me uh, driving to get my son and saw me getting him together um, so I did run some errands after I dropped him off like I told you all uh, I went to Walmart really um, it was so crowded in there guys so I wanted to record but it was I don't why Walmart was lit tonight. I'm like, good lord. And I really just went in there um to get body wash, face wash, and um 
my son some runny nose medicine and that was really it and then i bought two gift bags because two ladies from my church ordered one lady ordered two candles and another lady ordered four wax melts and um, they reached out to me because they're not um really tech savvy <laughs> And so she was, when the ladies was like, girl, now you know we don't know how to, how to use that online stuff. So we need your help. So I just um, went on and took their order for them um, on the phone and said, look, I will bring it to church. Um, I have to actually go to the church tomorrow to do a little work. I don't think you all know, um, or I haven't ever mentioned it, but I'm our church's assistant treasurer. So um, although our church is closed, um, the treasurer and I still work mainly Tuesdays and Saturdays just to ensure, you know, things are running smoothly and things like that. So I will be at the church tomorrow. So I said, I'll just bring your packages tomorrow and you both can come pick it up so I had to buy two gift bags for that so I can put their stuff in it and things like that so I'm super excited they're so sweet um, and I just appreciate any support um, you know when you're a new small business owner anyone and everyone that wants to support your brand you're kind of like all for it so now I am actually on my way home uh, to settle down at this point y'all look it's 7 30 okay it's my night is slowly winding down my sister is meeting me at my house to drop drop off pj so yeah so i didn't really get to take y'all into the stores but that's all i did that's all i grabbed and now i then i went from there to get my nails done which i just got like a white just a white on my nails something simple comment below what kind of nail person are you do you like acrylic do you like the dip powder or do you just like your regular nails with polish or do you like gel I've been a dip powder girl for maybe three years now and I love it I have very brittle nails not strong at all and so um, I switched over to using the dip powder because it's a, I think it's a good hybrid between gel and acrylic and it's a lot healthier for your nails. And so it's worked wonders for my nails. Even when it's time when he's removing the dip powder, my nails haven't been as healthy as they are now. So. I love the dip powder but let me know what kind of um, nail person are you I'm curious but I love my dip powder so yep so I think I'm gonna end the blog the vlog <laughs> right here this I'm sorry if the lighting is horrible the Sun is like beating my face down um, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here again nothing else is going on tonight just gonna relax with the family um, it's been a productive day. Um, as far as business goes, business is doing pretty good. Um, I'm doing a lot of networking and stuff via social media, trying to get my name out there um, as much as I can, I'm trying to figure out how to market and how to, you know, reach certain audiences. And, you know, not everybody are candle lovers, not everybody are wax melt lovers. And you may have a few that like, you know candles and then you may have a whole bunch that like wax melts so just trying to read my audience read the back end of my store with our reports and with my uh, reports and analytics and just get a feel for what everybody is into and so far my top fragrances are um, my sea salt and orchid which is my beautiful candle and um, lush linen which is woman of principle and um, you know it amazes you when you launch products or you supply a service you know what tends to be your go-to for your customers so I've really really enjoyed seeing what my customers are gravitating to but nonetheless you know all of my candles have been doing quite well um, I'm actually half stocked well I shouldn't even say half maybe a third stocked right now 
um, I have a huge um, jar order that's coming in um, this week so this coming week so I'll be cranking out candles um, I told myself I'll start with maybe like keeping a keeping 10 jars per fragrance um, 10 candles per fragrance and I'm gonna start out with that to see how that goes and you know kind of study the demand and you know see what I run out the most what fragrance is doing well and what's not um, it's kind of hard to tell when you first launch a business you know let me know in the comments below if you're a small business owner how you kind of handled that as well but I find that when I first launched I launched my um, business doing a pre-sale so I was selling candles before I even had product because I did not want to overly invest if I did not get a good response you know what I'm saying which I actually plan on making a video on that for anyone who's interested in launching a small business and giving you some pre-sale tactics where you can get customers you know interested in your product and you know introduce your product and things like that before you even make it just to see who's interested I set an ending pre-sale date and um, I ordered everything and I cranked out 84 candles <laughs> and got them delivered um, so and now I'm just open for regular orders so I pretty much sold out of everything um, so I just said okay well let's start with 10 jars per fragrance and see how that sells and how that runs and we'll go from there and if I find that you know one fragrance or two you know is more in high demand than the others then I'll know kind of you know how many to make of this fragrance versus that one but right now all of my candles are pretty much um, are doing pretty good so I'm actually very very happy and feeling very blessed and fortunate uh, so you know the more I learn the more I'll share which is why I wanted to start this this YouTube channel because I felt like you know I do not see many of us in our community you know talking about the behind the scenes of actually starting and operating a business like it's more than just seeing the pretty products on Facebook and Instagram and seeing us talk about it on YouTube and all of that stuff like how did you even get there that's what I want to know and so anything that I learned I plan on sharing it with you guys for sure um, so stay tuned I go I do videos every Sunday and Thursday so this will actually be up this coming Sunday and again I'm here for y'all to learn from y'all just like y'all can learn from me I hope I can teach you something at least you know go back and check out my previous videos I have a lot several informative videos so far and I'm slowly making a list of what content I can crank out to help I've already had a few people reach out to me in the comments in some of my previous videos that they're thinking about opening a small candle business so I want to try to supply as much information as possible I got a lot of great ideas and if you have any ideas or suggestions please drop them in the comment section below guys and I will do my best to get that information to you either a in a response or I can make a video about it so so I hope you all had a great Friday I hope you all have a fabulous weekend I got my nails done so I'm feeling pretty good and I'm about to just relax for the rest of the evening um yeah so stay tuned for more videos and until next time bye guys